Well, howdy, everybody. It is a great privilege and blessing to be able to be here with you. Not many churches where you actually meet everybody on the way in before you ever even get inside the building, but we almost did that. You remember the man in, in, the, in uh, uh, called the Gerasene demoniac in the old King James? Uh, he was... Uh, on the shore when Jesus came across in the boat with the disciples and he came down and said what have you to do with me and and uh, fell on his knees and first thing Jesus saw when he got off the boat and uh, Jesus went right over to him and um, he asked well what's your name and he said legion remember for we are many and there were all these demons and he cast them out the man had been in, cha in chains all the time because he was so crazy that uh, the people would chain him up, but he would break the chains and he lived in this desolate place where it was rocks and no one would go and, and uh, uh, people would bring him food uh, just so he could stay alive, but they were afraid of him and they'd have to run away. And, and uh, he was in chains uh, when they could get him in chains, but Jesus came, healed him, and you remember the story, the demons went into the swine and they went off the cliff, you know, and symbolizing that not only did he heal him, but he removed him from the entire, uh, all of this bondage from him. And so when the people who had the uh, swine came back to find out what was going on, they found this man dressed, normal, had a regular conversation, completely healed. They weren't all that happy about it. They were more concerned about the loss of the swine than they were about this amazing deliverance of this individual. So I was going to talk about how that trip across the water where Jesus was in the boat and the storm came up, you remember that, and he was asleep, asleep in the bow of the ship or this little fishing boat, and uh, the disciples were afraid that it was going to be destroyed because when you're caught on the, on the Sea of Galilee during a storm, it's a ferocious storm because of the way the sea is down in a dip from the, the mountains on, e on either side and the wind will come down suddenly with, very powerfully and ships are broken up, or fishing boats. Anyway, they were despairing of death, and Jesus is asleep, so they wake him up. You wonder why them shaking him would wake him up when the storm wouldn't, but that's what happened. And he said, what's the matter with you all? And, you know, he calmed the storm, and they were amazed and said, who is this anyway? As happens all through the book of Mark. Who is this? He, even, even the sea uh, listens to him. It was that trip that was taking Jesus across only to see this guy. And the point of that sermon was going to be, <laughs> what's your bondage? What are your chains? Because the man in the story is there to teach us that Jesus is coming for us, that he's already on the way, and it's as good as done. Now, this man's chains and bondage were, and, uh, were such just as ours, that he was absolutely helpless. He could not do anything about it. Even when he made, he, he was so strong that he could break the chains that they put on him, but he, they'd just come back and put them on again. Because he was out of his mind, he wasn't able to, even if he could break the chains, do anything about getting free from the prison in which he was held by all of these uh, things that were going on in his life. And all of us have such things. And if we don't today, we will tomorrow. And if we don't tomorrow, we did yesterday, or we know someone who does that is a burden to us. And the point of the story, of course, that despite the storm, whatever barriers might lie in the way of Jesus coming, he is coming. And the man didn't know he was coming, but the fact is he was coming. He was on the way the entire time that the man was going through these things. And the end of the story could not be other than his deliverance. And that's the end of every story. 
Every story of pain, of despair, of hopelessness, of suffering, of bondage is deliverance. There is no other ending because Jesus has come. That's what I was going to talk about, but I decided not to.